when you're up against your stock be sure that you are this is kind of an exaggerated angle but you're at this kind of angle you don't want to be at that angle dragging along this face now if you're just doing a standard finish cut you can be at a 5 10 degree angle not a big deal not something super accurate just make sure that you're just cutting with the tip but if you're going to be roughing you need to be at a more exaggerated angle like this so that you're cutting with most of this front hat or this front side of your insert otherwise you're just going to be cutting with the tip well whenever you're cutting it's going to be using this side of your insert just like when you're turning you're using this side of your insert whenever you're facing you want to be using this front side so if you're just going to be facing it and then start turning it then I would suggest go ahead and prep it to turn it and just have it at a slight angle now when it comes to facing spindle speeds and RPMs and things of that nature it's it's a little different I'm gonna go ahead and cut right here and we're gonna move on to facing this piece of coral. Now on a manual lathe, when it comes to facing, your spindle speed will not change. It will not ramp up as it gets closer to the center, like a Mazak or a CNC lathe would do. The motor is, it, it changes on a CNC, but when it comes to a manual, it stays the same speed. So you want to preemptively set your spindle speed to where it's gonna leave a good finish on the entire face. Now we're going to have a separate class when it comes to lathes and RPMs and spindle speeds. But just play around with a piece of material. If it chatters or if it sparks, then you're probably going too fast. So just slow it down. When it comes to a two inch piece of steel that's pretty soft, I'm going to go around 500 and we are just going to rough face maybe 50 to 100 thou and then we are going to just take a light skim pass to just pretty it up. So when it comes to the angles, I'm gonna set it at the exaggerated angle to where I'm cutting with the back side of my insert. So that way I can rough. And then I'm going to switch and change it as if I was gonna turn the part and cut with the front side, basically just the tip of the insert for my finish pass. You can also finish with that exaggerated angle, but I'm just gonna change it around just to show you guys you can cut it either way now with this typical type of insert it looks as though I can just position it to where it looks like it'll turn just fine and it will also face it and it will be rigid. The only time you really want to position it at that angle that I was talking about is if your insert does not look rigid or if it, if it keeps chipping, but that's just a, a general rule of facing is you can always cut with the back side of the insert and then move it back around to start turning the OD. Alright, so I've now set it to 500 spindle speed. I'm going to take a light skim pass to make sure that my tool is centered. And it looks as though it is. So now I can either get my travel indicator and set zero, or I can use my DRO. I'm gonna back off and set my power feed. And I'm gonna take about a 50 thou pass. Now if it's not breaking a chip, that means I need to go a little faster, but it looks like it's okay. Now some materials require you to take a heavy cut in order to get a good finish. 
Other materials require you to just bump the spindle speed up and you can take a five thou cut and get a good finish. So that looks like it's leaving a pretty good finish, but we're gonna go ahead and turn it off because coral is a very soft material. We're gonna to try to go 720 for our finish pass. And then we're gonna take about a 10 thou pass facing down. And I'm just looking for clearances on my tool, making sure that I'm not rubbing on the back side of my insert and I'm just cutting with my tip. So at this point, anytime you face it, you'll see if there is a nipple on the front or not, and that is letting you know if your tool is center line. Now, you can always play with how you, you are facing it to get a better finish. You can go faster, you can take a heavier cut, and you can also, in the end, if it's just frustrating for you, just scotch brite it, but that's not exactly what you want to do. Some materials leave great finishes, others do not. So you'll just have to play around with it, go online, research it. You can ask us what uh, needs to happen when it comes to coral. You want to bump the spindle speed up, and sometimes you have to take a heavier cut, maybe a 20, 30 thou cut.